Fred Chappell, I'm looking forward to talking to you about your new book, um, A Shadow of All Light on North Carolina Book Watch, coming up. This book is, um, is fantasy, it's imaginative. Um, we're, when we think of you, a lot of people think, well, Fred Chappell writes about his experiences, or based on his experiences growing up in the mountains of North Carolina. When does an author sort of move away from writing about stuff that he knows and grew up doing and, and move into something else? There comes, I think, for, for most writers, a point where you have a vague sense that you may have said everything you needed to say about that particular subject or about that particular area of experience. And then other things, while you've been writing, have happened to you. Your experience has broadened, whether you want it to or not, and other things impinge upon your attention. In this case, uh, the study of light, study of shadows, uh, seemed an interesting idea to, to pursue. I, the, it wasn't a novel at first. It wasn't even fiction at first. It was a, a, it was a sonnet sequence. Then it was an opera. Oh, come on. Yeah, well, I didn't have any music, but I, I thought of it as an opera. People carrying around swords and cloaks, that's opera, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's what I think opera is. And then after a while, it settled down and became fiction, mostly because all the other attempts had failed. And one story led to another, just as they did when I was trying to explain things to my parents when I was in the wrong. And after a while, there was a book and now my, my poor readers are stuck with it. Well, this is interesting because you develop a core of readers in your early career when you're writing about um, places that you know and writing with authority and with passion. And then you say, I'm done with that. Uh, how do you keep your fan base or you have to establish a whole new group of, of uh, readers? Well, luckily, or unluckily, I never had all that much of a fan base. I just had some uh, friends who read some of those books. And I, w I will go back, I would still use Appalachian material. But as soon, as soon as I started out as a novelist, then I started writing poetry. And that upset some people. And then after that, I was a critic for a long time. I was a critic for the Raleigh paper and I was a critic for mm -hmm. literary magazines. And that made a lot of people upset. Because <laughs> you told the truth. <laughs> I oh, tried. You, you shared your <laughs> real opinion. Yeah, there was no, there's no way to make friends. No, there ain't no way to make friends. Well, luckily, though, I had some friends who, who stuck with me, and some of them I've even dared to read this new book, A Shadow All of Light. What would you say to those of us who are your old line fans to um, alert us to what we might encounter? in a shadow of all light? Just uh, let yourself go a little bit. Uh, if you ever enjoyed reading Treasure Island and Nathaniel Hawthorne, if you tried to mesh those two guys together and threw in Alice in Wonderland, it's that kind of book. We got that going. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, this will be a great treat for us to read and to talk with you about on North Carolina Book Watch. Thank you very much.